The first topic that we want to get into is just our silver coin wish list. And just to start off this topic, I should mention that it's actually been quite a while since we made a silver purchase, and there's a few reasons for that. Uh, but because it's been so long, we've built up quite a long wish list. Uh, I think I have over uh, about 12 coins that I want to make a, for our next purchase. Mm -hmm. But uh, what we've done is we've boiled it down to our top three that we're going to uh, definitely make with our next purchase. And hopefully that comes within the next couple of weeks. We'll have to see. Our situation financially is uh, a little bit unpredictable at this point. But uh, we do want to make a purchase upcoming. Um, but also, too, I should just mention that one of the reasons why we held back on making a silver purchase has just been the devastation that's gone on with the Canadian dollar. Uh, at the beginning of the year, it was right around, uh, what it hit at its bottom, 68? Yeah, I think it was 66. just under 70, and it fell fast. I think within a couple of weeks, it, it crossed that 70 mark yeah, out so, of nowhere. So right when we were trying to make a silver purchase, we're hit with this almost 40% uh, plus premium, almost like a tax, if you could call it, just because the Canadian dollar was so low. Yeah, and it's pretty frustrating to see the silver price declining so much, but yet our silver to buy would be increasing at that yeah. point. So and it was a little bit tough to kind of pull the trigger on a purchase there. Right, even though you had, up here in Canada, even though you had the price of silver around $15 an ounce, even lower, it was hovering around 14 yep. uh, you would still have to pay about $30. Yeah, which is just ridiculous. There's no way we can do that. Well, point. the real frustrating part of that too was not only were we paying about 40% higher just on the, the currency difference, because the price of silver is so low and for the Americans, uh, the premiums have gone mm -hmm. uh, extra high. It's about 25% premiums on some of these coins. Yeah, and what we were paying before is probably about 15. Yeah, it's probably around 15. Yeah, even sometimes as little as 10, 10% 10, yeah. 10 on the premiums. So we kind of got hit from both uh, sides. Both sides. Yeah. So we had to pay the, 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 the attacks, which I would consider attacks almost on the fact of our weak currency mm -hmm. and then also another huge hit just given the premiums that these dealers are uh, are putting on some of their coins for sure so that's a little bit frustrating but you guys know us we're gonna stay patient and when you're long silver you can kind of take your time and pick your spots right? yeah exactly that's a good point and Right now, too, the dollar is actually making a bit of a comeback. We're almost at seventy-eight cents to uh, the American dollar, yeah. so it's kind of gone up enough too, where you know it's not as painful. And we're going to be like my brother just said, we're long silver anyway. This isn't short term for us. Mm -hmm. Not looking to make a, a quick profit or anything yeah. like that. It's we're, just always nice to get those new coins in your hand. There's something about us un unboxing silver. It's just so cool. You get the package. It's true. And uh, yeah, like I Hasn't said, happened in a while. The one thing that held us back is we didn't want the dollar to go back to parity, mm -hmm. and then. The, the, the price of silver would have to yeah. go up 40% just to break even. Yeah, so just from them. a mental standpoint, it's kind of tough from that regard. Yeah. But like we said, and uh, we've been having some good comments uh, from people like Veritas Files who just make the always hammer the point, which is a great point. Just buy a little bit at a time mm -hmm. and uh, just stack it slowly. So yep. that's what we're going to do. Let's get into our top three. I think I'll start it off. And the nice thing is, is we don't know what he, what's on each other's list here. Yeah, and I had a lot of fun actually going through this again and, and looking at all the coins. And it was hard to narrow it down to three, but I accomplished that. I don't know. I think I got some good. I you got, got a good, good three. Okay. I'll start here. But what the I think the at the top of my list is just the one ounce 2015 Canadian silver great horned owls. Okay. So that's the last coin in the Birds of Prey series that's put on by the Royal uh, Royal Mint up here, Canadian Royal Mint. Is it Royal Canadian Mint? Royal yeah. Canadian Mint. Yep. The Royal Canadian Mint. I always get those mixed up. But that's the last in the four coin series. Uh, from the Birds of Prey series. We have the previous three. I I know it's the the Falcon, the Hawk, and one other, but we've already purchased the first three. And as a matter of fact, these great horned owls are probably my favorite out of the three yeah, coins. Yeah, they look great. Yeah, just from like an aesthetic point of view. Yeah. Um, it's a some of the birds were pretty small on the coins and it was kind of uh kind of looked pretty blank, like close to almost like not a lot of room filled. Mm -hmm. But the owl takes up a uh, large part of the coin. So just from an aesthetic point of view, it's 
the nicest coin out of the four in my opinion but also we need to finish off that series and they're going to get more expensive as we go along i feel for sure i just saw them i just saw them actually they were on sale i think at silver gold bull so we just missed a really good price for them but again there's because it's the last coin uh, I think they're still staying at a pretty decent price. They're more expensive than your government minted coins like your Philharmonic or the American Evil Eagles uh, or the Maples up here in Canada, but they're they're much less on a percentage basis than the Kookaburras or the Lunar Coin series. So that's a nice middle of the road coin that I like uh, just to add to the series. And also too, not only do we need to finish the series because they've already come out with another series. I think it's called the Predator series. Yeah, I and think the I saw new those coin too. is a, is the Cougar. Yeah. So that's on our list as well that we want to buy. It didn't make the top of the list because I want to finish off the Birds of Prey series. But I also want to start buying that next series. That gives us a good. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of the maples when it comes to government minted coins just because of some of the milk spotting issues mm -hmm. and not only that but i really like the philharmonics and the american eagles so these series the birds of prey and the predator give us a nice way to buy some canadian type uh canadian coins from the uh, rcm for sure also too i should just mention before you get into your first coin on your list there's a limited mint mintage mm -hmm. on the uh, the Birds of Prey series coins, and this one had a limited mintage of one million. So I really like that. When you put it in relation to the Canadian Maples, they have an unlimited mintage per year. So I think that you're getting a good deal. They've maxed, they cap it at one million dollars, and it's a fairly fairly mm -hmm. close in price. Like only a dollar off. Yeah. So I think you're getting a good deal in that regard. And like I said, we got to finish off that series. It's nice to always. For sure. It kind of has that feeling in the back of my head where my completionist I know. wants to finish off that series and For get sure. into the next coin. So that's the first one on, on my coin here, the one ounce owl. All right. Uh, why don't you hit your first coin? Yeah, and you were just talking about government issued silver. So why not start with my first one? It's the one ounce American Silver Eagle 2016. Very nice. And when I was kind of putting together my list, there was two things that sort of kept coming up with the ones that I wanted to buy. The first being price, of mm. course, which was important. And the American Eagles right now are actually selling for a great price. I saw it in American money, it was getting pretty close to under $20. So that's going to transfer over to Canadian dollars. Yeah, probably about $25, $25. Canadian, yep. right in that range. And that's sort of one of the more lower coins, I, I think, right. at least from what I saw. And then second, not only in price, is also design. Mm. So I'm kind of a design guy. I like how the coins look. I like having nice coins. I think that's both for bo that's true for both of us on the American Eagles. We really like we'll we'll pay that small premium more in relation to the uh, the Canadian Maples just to get the the American Silver Eagles for sure. So. Yeah, I really like how the American Eagles look. I like like how you were mentioning with the uh, Great Horned Owls, um, how the design sort of took over most of the coin. I love the back of the American mm -hmm. Eagles, that huge, big sort of eagle there, uh, the big eagle crest. Yeah. I love that. And uh, you also mentioned, too, there was uh, one more thing that I sort of liked with these coins. I was leaning towards the Canadian Maples a little bit, but the milk spotting just detracts me every single time i think yeah. so so the last sort of point that i'll mention uh is that there's no milk spotting that you get from the canadian coins so taking all three of those together i think these are pretty good uh coins uh the price the design and then the no milk spotting so and i've sort of always been an american eagle guy yeah exactly uh, we like that for our government uh, issue yeah i, feel I think those were one of the first ones that we bought and so I sort of kind of fell in love with that coin right from the very beginning when we started silver purchasing. So, And if I can add one more thing to just your list, the, the Eagle's a good one. Uh, also, too, just like you said, it helps us dollar cost average down a little bit with the price. But also, too, we just we've already have I think we have silver eagles going back to 2013 yeah yeah they were one of the first ones that we picked up so it's nice to always again to that completionist side of me yeah. we, have, we have the 13 14 15 you might as well get the 16 exactly and just keep it going yeah so that's a good one I think that's over on our general list uh, I'll just say it's not on my remaining two okay but definitely a good uh, good coin to have let's talk about my Second coin on my list now, I have the 2016 one ounce Somalian silver elephants. All right, we have our first 
Is that on Not your list here. too? Yeah, that's number three on my list. So. Yeah, that's not surprising. I think when I was making my list, I assumed that you were going to put the elephants on yeah. there too. I, I'm why don't to... you say why you liked it first, and sure. then I'll say why I liked mine. I'll get in again, just like I mentioned. We have... Uh, our elephants don't go back as far as the 2013 year, but uh, we do have the 14 and 15 uh, elephants. And again, just like the... The owls were probably my favorite out of the Birds of Prey series. I think this year, the 2016 design is my favorite from the 2014 and 2015 mm-hmm. designs. So uh, that was one of the, the reasons, just to continue the series. Uh, also, too, up here in Canada, I think because it's still uh, the relatively new, the most recent coin in that series, uh, we can get them at a really good price. There's a number of dealers who will sell them at just slightly higher than an American silver eagle. So uh, just for that reason alone, the price is right. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to drop that. <laughs> TV t- <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, <laughs> but the, it's a great price that we can get on the Somalian elephants. And these are ones that we're really committed. The elephant, that is. Yeah, and one of the points I wrote down was unbelievable price. Right. Yeah, great. I was oh, shocked when I saw this price. So Yeah, usually, and you have to get them almost the year they come out yeah because those are something that if you look at the 2015s like for example if you go to silver gold bull or toronto gold bullion uh dealers like canadian dealers like that i'm I'm sure it's the same in the states as well but uh if you look at the past years the 2014 or even just ebay these past years i mean you're gonna have to pay well above spot to, to try to get those coins and add them to your series. For so you sure. might as well add them the year that they come out. Yeah. So we don't want to let the 2016s go on for, for too long. For and sure. that was just my last point. That it's was my bit, last point. It's a bit anecdotal, just because I haven't done uh, a large amount of research in that regard. But I think it would pan out that they do very well on the secondary yeah, market. Yeah, well, what made me sort of uh, write down uh, unbelievable price was I saw that on Silver Gold Bowl, the 2011 uh, elephants were selling for more than double what mm. the 2016 was selling for. I think the 2016 in American dollars was somewhere around $20, okay. 2023. And I think I had seen that the 2011s were about $44. So. Right. So, yeah, exactly. Quite so, a bit. And I think I've mentioned, I've seen people mention that on YouTube as well. Yeah. Just that the, the eagle, or uh, not the eagles, the elephants for whatever reason it is, and I'm not sure what the mintage numbers on these. That I'm, I've looked, and I haven't been able to find the most recent mintage numbers, but uh, for whatever reason, they seem to be doing very well on the secondary market. Mm-hmm. So we're committed to the elephants. It's interesting that you had that on your list as well. Yep. Uh, let's go with my third one here. Okay. And I went with the 2016 one-ounce Australian silver kookaburras. Nice. That's probably, I'm going to say it's right up there with the elephants, but it probably just goes over, nudges just past the elephants, just a little bit with my favorite series. I was just going to say, yeah, you're, he's a kookaburra guy. Yeah. I'm a, <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to silver, yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the bird, yeah. but I have to say just the, the, from an aesthetics point of view, for whatever reason, I like the look of the kookaburras the, the, the most. And for just another reason as well. Just like I've been saying with the eagles and the elephants, we have, I think our kookaburras go back to 14. So we already have 14 and 15. Uh, might as well get the 16, keep that series going. Uh, these ones look great. Last year was was awesome. I think it was their 30th anniversary or 25th anniversary. Uh, but the, the design on these ones for 2016 look really nice. So we might as well add that into our stack as well. And they're pricey. But just like with the elephants, you have to get them almost the year that they come out or else they're just going to balloon in price. Mm. They're pricey because uh, they're probably the most, from what I did on a little bit of research, the, the most expensive 2016 new release that I like to stay up with. If you have the government issued coins or the Birds of Prey series, for example, or the elephants, uh, when it comes to those types of coins, they're the most expensive. Uh, however, what I really I'm willing to pay that little bit of uh, extra price just because they have that limited mintage again of 500,000. So I'm a big fan of when you can get these limited mintage coins where you're getting into the millions, multiple millions on the Eagles and the Canadian Maples. I like it when you can get a, a coin that only has 500,000 max. 
So I like the Kookaburras. Uh, just to recap my list, we have the Kookaburras, the 2016, the 2016 Somalian Elephants, and the 2015 Owls. All right, yep, that's a great coin. So, for, And I'll just mention my last one now. You might not be too surprised. Okay. This is another coin that I've sort of liked from day one of our silver stacking days, and that was the 2016 Austrian Philharmonic Silver Coin. Very nice. And kind of sticking with my theme here, uh, first, the price was really good. Um, the def I think it was one of the only coins that I saw for under 20 American dollars mm -hmm. on one of the retailers that we usually go to. And then I also like the design of the coin. Right. The theme, the musical theme on the back. Uh, I'm sort of a music guy. I've been playing instruments my whole life. So that's something that sort of stuck out to me when uh, we first sort of picked those coins up. So like the price, like the design. And I also how, like how it sort of looks a little bit different from the other coins. If, if I'm not mistaken, it's a little bit smaller and a little bit thicker yeah, than the other coins. Yeah, I think a... Uh, it's less of a diameter. Yeah. So that sort of gives it a little bit of character in my eyes. And I sort of like the little bit of extra thickness on, on the coin and just uh, think that looks pretty cool. So it sort of stands out just a little bit for me. Uh, for me. So yeah, that's the last one that I sort of like. Definitely. And it's funny up here too, for whatever reason, you can actually get the one ounce uh, Philharmonics uh, less than what you could get a one ounce Canadian Maple. Mm -hmm. So just when it comes to price, you're exactly right. And I kind of noticed just on your, your list there, uh, just with the Eagle and the Philharmonics, again too, just that dollar cost average. I went with a little bit more of expensive, if you'll see, yeah. <laughs> on my list here. But uh, yeah, just at this point too, the uh, if we can get that price down, just given what the Canadian dollar is doing, just in relation to the uh, American dollar, then yeah. yeah, those are the coins that that we definitely want. And to it's, throw funny, it's funny. It's funny. What I've noticed with these lists is this is kind of sort of how our discussions go when we're sort of figuring out what sort of silver we want to get. My brother will sort of point out these sort of uh, series coins like the Kookaburras right. and things like that, and I'm sort of kind of pounding the table a little bit with, oh well, let's get more American Eagles, let's get Philharmonic, sort of the, um, I guess the more less expensive stuff but, yeah but i think that's a good mix for us for because it, it kind of uh allows us to add different types of silver to our stack for sure and it's an important thing that we have to have a balance on yeah and you know the mintage numbers a little bit more than, than me you look into that a little bit more right. whereas like i said i sort of go look at price and how the coin looks it's good to kind of have that balance with someone looking at the mintage numbers and the potential premiums that could be out there later on so right so i think we have good yeah. list those did you, are did you have one more coin that didn't make the list that you might want to um if i could add it would probably be i would have to say either Hmm, it's hard to get it down to one, but I would say either the 2016 one ounce koala because okay. I've really we only had the 2015 koala, and I don't know. I think the design that 2014 design kind of shook me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a good looking coin, but the 2015 looked great, and the 2016 looks very nice as well. So I would probably say it's gonna be hard to go down to one. So the 2016 koala because. That has a uh, a nice look again this year. And then if I have to just throw one in as an extra one, it'd be the, the Cougar. Nice. The 2016 well, Cougar. Well, I think my point stands then. <laughs> because <laughs> the one I would add would probably be the Libertad. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love, love those coins as well. So, again, we kind of get that contrast, as you guys can see. So, I think the, the point's made there. We could talk about it for another hour here. Because, yeah. yeah, I want the Britannias yeah. <laughs> as well. So, the Libertads and the Britannias. Well, that was fun. Something. Yeah, so the, that was our list. Now, just in terms of time horizon, hopefully within the next month, if we can get the Canadian dollar up to 80, and then I only have to eat the, tw the 20 cents on the exchange, then I'm not too concerned. We'll add a little bit over time.